The Good Hours by Desiree Cooper. Desiree Cooper is a former attorney, Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist and Detroit community activist. In this short story, a woman goes to an estate sale. Estate sales are held to sell items people can no longer keep. As you read, take notes on how the narrator is affected by the events in her neighbourhood. I had for my winter evening walk no one at all with whom to talk. Robert Frost. It's 9pm and the night stretches before me like a glacier. Despite the fact that it's started to snow again, I pull on my fleece for an evening walk. These days, I walk until the cold slows my heart and I can sleep without nightmares. Sometimes I have to walk two or three times before dawn to stay in front of the dread. There is a plague upon our house. It's making the thin wallpaper curl, the tongue and groove floors moan. We have lost our grasp on tomorrow. We pretend to still have jobs as we come and go, waving at the neighbours, but we all know that this infection will spread. At least once a week during my walks, I see a new sign, bank owned or auction. Overnight, a white document appears on a neighbour's front door, the opposite of lamb's blood a sign that God will not protect them. I've learned to detect the early signs. The yard service is the first to go. Grass invades the cracks in the driveway. Leaves mound like fresh graves. After a night of snow, sidewalks go unshoveled. Windows shutter. Porch lights shine all day long. Tonight, I say vespers for the Babcocks and Lindsays. In six months, a year, there will be no survivors left on our block. I wonder if this is how it feels during epidemics. Each house under quarantine, neighbours peering from behind curtains, hiding signs of financial ruin. People vanishing without a goodbye. In October, Teresa Madding had an estate sale. I went for the same reason we go to Wakes, to check out the condition of the body. The Madding house was in surprisingly good repair. Their downfall must have been swift. There would be no trouble finding a buyer for a short sale. As I scoured Teresa's possessions, I was grateful that most of the people streaming in on that dreary autumn morning were not from the neighbourhood. It's against the unspoken code for us to circle the pyre of our neighbours' belongings. On Teresa's dining room table, among three different sets of dishes, how much china does one family really need? sat the most exquisite tureen. Williamsburg blue, delicate white flowers laced with gold. Even then, I knew we were probably going to lose our home and the tureen would not survive our journey into the unknown. But in the moment, it felt like an inoculation of hope, a talisman to keep the infection from spreading to us. I snatched up quickly and darted to the checkout. And that's when I ran into Teresa. It's a horrible slap to be caught paying pennies for your neighbour's belongings. Hello, I mumbled, angry at her for attending her own funeral. My tureen, she gushed. We use that so many times during the holidays. You're going to love it. She emitted the strange glee of someone who has lost everything. Thank you, I said. I should have said more. Once I got the tureen in the car, I started crying and could not stop. We never used it. When our real estate agent came to size up our house, she noticed the tureen in the china cabinet. I made her take it home. Tonight, the air stings. The snow creaks beneath my feet, profane. No dogs bark curiously. Hardly any doors bear holiday wreaths. This year, there have been no parties to spill their light onto the, onto the stark drifts. Where is the sound of the children next door practising carols on their violins? The cold gnaws at my toes. My lips feel useless. I want to cry, but the frigid air has dried my eyes. This is somehow my fault. I should have saved more money. I should have left town a long time ago. I should have majored in something else. I should have married better or had one fewer child. Beneath a dim streetlight, I turn and repent. All the windows are blackened this winter's eve. The good hours have gone.